I really want to know more about your uh, Smoke Roses company. Oh, yes. Yeah, smoke? Yeah, talk about that. Um, we have our high episodes. I have a rose tattoo. Does that count? <laughs> yes. We have high episodes on our Patreon. Yeah. We bring so guests a- that like to smoke weed. We, we don't smoke weed at all. We only smoke on only our, for those. On our uh, private secret videos on Patreon. But yeah, so how did that start? What sparked the idea? <laughs> for smoke sparked. roses? Mm-hmm. No pun yeah. intended. Um, okay, so I started smoking when I was 18. And obviously, like when you're just in your hometown, you're kind of like, I'll take whatever I can get here. Because <laughs> I was living in Utah. Yeah, it's not, not much. Easy to come across. You're like meeting some random dude in a parking lot at Walmart. <laughs> and you're like, I hope this is weed. Could be right <laughs> Hope it's not lace. <laughs> Could be oregano. Could be oregano. Um, which obviously no one should have to do that like you shouldn't to get something that's like really not a drug you shouldn't have to like do some back some alley, illegal like, shit whatever. yeah exactly and that's why when i moved out here i was like wow like i was so amazed by the dispensaries and how they had everything set up because for me smoking weed stopped my panic attacks which i've never that's good had anything that helped stop them besides that like i've tried i've tried other shit and it just does not work like it has weird side effects so for me, that was like really cool because I then was able to actually consume weed that was like clean and very helpful and functional. I was like functional stoner. Like how yeah. do we make that happen? Cause like, I don't like to sit around. I'm a super active person and there were all these things made and I was like, wow, this is really cool. But the more I got into it, I was like, damn, like a lot of this is actually super commercial and people are just making money off of it. Cause mm-hmm. weed is like super profitable. Yeah. yeah. And so I was like, okay, leaning more towards what I experienced when I was traveling. I saw people smoke so many different types of crazy things from traveling to their world countries because they don't have traditional papers. Like you can't just go to the gas station and fucking pick up some raw rolling papers in the Dominican Republic. Yeah. (laughs) So people are like smoking banana leaves Mm -hmm. and lavender and like different types of flowers. And I was like, this is really cool. And when I came back to California, the only thing that's adopted in the United States is tobacco. So you have backwoods, swishers, like... And it's just a tobacco leaf. So I was kind of like, hmm. <laughs> it's like, can I buy like flower pre-rolls or like whatever? And I researched for four days. I was like, pre-rolled rose petal cones, pre-rolled lavender cones, pre-rolled anything and nothing existed. Wow. That's so sick. And I was like, is this an original like idea? Cause like I definitely had seen people do it, but there was no- There's no way. There I haven't no looked hard enough. buy it. Yeah. So I was like, this is impossible. Like how am I gonna sell? <laughs> rose petals they're so delicate how do you ship them there's like a million problems so over the course of covid essentially i had this idea and i just spent hours working on it packaging like this has never been made before so i had to cold email like 50 manufacturers and be like hey Here's Would you idea. try to make this? Like, I know this is the first email you've ever bit. seen from the U.S. But I, I'd also be scared too that they would take your idea. Absolutely. So, oh, hey, yeah. can you make this? Uh, yeah, we can. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, people do that. No, for real. It actually did happen to us. Oh um, shit. And it was a huge problem. But here, the problem was that I was like, okay, I'm gonna get these patented, but you can't really patent a rose petal. And I tried to do the design as well, and it was just like a very complicated process because it's a cannabis-based product and mm. all these other legalities so i got it trademarked and that was like really the best i could do and then yeah we had someone screw us over made the samples sent it to us i was like this is amazing and then they ghosted us and took our idea jeez what the fuck but as you guys know branding is really important there's a million products that exist and the branding is what makes a huge difference so yes now there are other people selling the rose cones but hands down my brand is still the biggest one. Like there everyone knows it was the first one. Yeah. So people can copy me all they fucking want. I'm like, you like my idea? Damn, that's sick. <laughs> it's flattering. I love that. Um, and it's and it's like like environmental friendly too. It just like, especially out here in LA, people always want. Can you can you taste it? Of, like, do you have not like really. the aroma so it, it, or anything like that? It enhances the taste of the weed, and that was like my whole thing is like clean, functional smoking. I have asthma, so I wanted to make something that didn't have dyes or additives or chemicals. It's all natural. The seal is natural. Um, there's no artificial colors, nothing. Like they're bright red. They're so pretty and they're really clean. They hold a gram each. Wow. And that's so cool. Wow, we got to get some of that. Yeah, we got to yeah. smoke some of that. Dude, I would have brought some, but I didn't think that you guys smoked because I was just going to have you guys come on my Smoke Roses show that I have. So I have a YouTube series where I bring people on and I get them high. Have you seen the Eric Andre you show? Guys, you yeah, guys no, smoke I smoke a lot, I, though. I, like, too much. We do, like, a couple can hits, we, and can we like, like Can we good. fake that we smoke a lot, but no, not so smoke as much? No, so it's, like, to whatever limit you want. Like, you can tap out whenever. You Thank you. Oh, well, like I it. mean, that video would be done in 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> But, hey, if you want to take it, like, it's so funny. Like, Bryce 
Paul came on and yeah. he couldn't make it. Like he tapped out. But I, but everyone was just calling him a bitch. So if you're okay being called a bitch, you can come on. But yeah. it's kind of like who can smoke more type of vibe. Yeah. So you can tap out whenever. I'll still smoke the rest of the episode. <laughs> how much? How yeah. much do you smoke like in an episode? I don't even know. Like a whole joint to yourself, too. Oh, yeah. Two, probably two whole joints to myself. And you can function? Bong rips, and then the hot box at the end, which is- Ooh, like, what the That's fuck? more weed in one setting weed. than we've done on all of the episodes for our high episodes. That's like more than I can drink in one night, like if I tried really hard. Like <laughs> that's, that's insane. I feel like I like train myself for no reason because it helps with my anxiety. Like I don't get whatever high is like out of your mind. Like it's been a really long time since I've had yeah. that happen. My body and weed is like, Best friends, I'm like 50% cannabis at this point. I don't really know what's going on. That's all, but damn, I can a lot smoke of people like, like that though. Like I don't have like a, at some point it's, it stops mattering. Like I can keep smoking and I don't get higher. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Question about the panic attacks. I want to get back to that. Um, Do you um do you not get panic panic attacks anymore because you smoke all the time? Or when you feel like you're having a panic attack, you, you smoke and then yeah. it goes away. Yes. So you still get them. It's yes. just, you smoke immediately. Yes. I would okay. love to find like a fucking long-term solution. Yeah. Well, that, that's what I was like attacks. wondering. I was like, if that's the case, that's pretty crazy. But. Yeah. No, for some people smoking weed causes panic attacks. I'm that's not me. <laughs> that's that's <Yeah>. us. <laughs> but it's like, everybody's different, like bodies, chemistry, whatever. Um, and I totally acknowledge that. That's why I made this brand. And it was so much fun and made the show and I've had so many amazing guests on it. Um, you guys know like- Oh Adam my God, Ooh. that looks like fucking hell. That, that's my nightmare. <laughs> that hot- That's what? crazy. And Grizz, Grizz is in there. What the hell is wrong with you, Charlie? Uh, I made that shit too. Yeah, I bet. I, <laughs> Where, like, where are you shooting this at? Like, it, like it, our, our guys, it's is at room ten forty one in <laughs> space, Matt. Can't you see? Oh Dude, we got to We got to do that. We got to do that. <laughs> I'm in there the whole time like this. It's a once in a lifetime experience. I mean, he, we would want to kill ourselves, but I we got to experience. I would be that. high for three days after. But that's the whole point. It's like you're never gonna be that high on camera. So like, have fun. Like, it doesn't Ooh. matter, you know. But you know, Heath, we'll be both really high like that together. So I think that's like that's that's. That's okay. And like some people stay in there for like five seconds. Like Tana didn't get in there at all. She twerked around the box. Like she could not, she was like, I'm not getting in there. Wait, it, that's it, crazy. Like when you, when you're in that box, do you really, like, is it really potent? I don't I'm, know if I'm saw, high looking at it. But it's yeah. a bowl that I attached to an air vac that I put in reverse and it, you light it, it sucks. And it sucks straight weed smoke. So this weed smoke hasn't been in anyone's wow. lungs. So it's straight THC to like the face. Oh my God. You have to wear God. goggles when you go in because it'll burn Jeez. your eyes. Look at Twan. That's <laughs> oh. insane. Mama wow. Oh my God. How oh thick it is God. coming in. <laughs> you, should, you should get some dollar bills floating in. Yeah. <laughs> the, the hurricane <laughs> grabbed them. Yeah. <laughs> so Tana already looked up stone and she wasn't even in the box. Are you, are you into sativa, indica, doesn't matter? Hybrids. Hybrid. Yeah. Everyone, fun fact, um, labels don't really mean anything with weed, I feel like. Um, for the most part, when they label it, they like have ten, 10 people sit down and smoke it. And they're like, did that make you more awake or more sleepy? Or like, because oh. so uh, pretty much everything has been crossbred a million times. Like no one can like source back to like an original sativa or an original indica. Like how would you know? So they basically just have people smoke it and then name it some brandable name. So oh. the name means nothing and- I thought the they had like a hybrid section. I thought it was uh, science. I uh, thought so too. Oh that just my blew my God. mind. It's That's all, crazy. So it's all it's based marketing. on 10 people or like 20 people that are like smoking this weed and they're like, I feel tired. I'm sure okay, there are a, some brands that like are like, oh no, we go through more intensive or we've tested this and this. I don't believe that's a thing. There are definitely, I just go based call on- Call their ass out. Like uh, for me, it's more other side effects. Like how hungry it makes me. And I care about like organic weed. So there's a lot of weed that has- pesticides put into it mm -hmm. when it's being grown. Oof. I like outdoor organic weed, important. Oh, wow. But mm. everything from the store, like weed's not supposed to be over 15% THC, naturally. When you look at the labels, it's like 32% oh. THC. So they're, they're oh. like breeding it to be like super potent. Mm -hmm. And that's when they have like weird shit in it. That's why everyone is tripping out though. Everyone's like, whoa, like this weed's so strong. Like it's not supposed to be like that. They've been genetically engineering it and modifying mm. it to be well crazy. if you have organic weed then i'd like to try some of that i got you next okay, time because oh. do you have I like a favorite so. brand company or no, guys i actually have weed in my car it's crazy you said 
next time because I'm not going to get you high after this episode. <laughs> He's like, just kidding. I actually don't smoke. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't like to smoke for fun. I, I, I'll smoke maybe sometimes once in a blue moon to help me sleep. But that's it. We do it for the people. <laughs> Literally <laughs> only really for, do it for the people. Yeah. Yeah. Smoking is different for everyone, but it's really changed my life. And yeah. I really my brand. Oh, what I was saying is that I made two brands. So there's Smoke Roses, which was like you know, it's a pretty niche audience of people that smoke, yeah. very specific. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to make like a broader, like more general mental health based brand. And I made Beauty and Pain, which is these necklaces. Um, and it's this tattoo on my wrist and it's all just about mental health. And like, I used to struggle with self harm a lot in high school. And I got yeah. this tattoo to remind me cause it's on my wrist to not do it, which, you know, right. only helps so much. But over time when I, got out of that phase of my life. I just wanted to uh, make something that reminded people not to do that. So finding beauty and pain, that's why it's like a rose and a dagger because roses are beautiful. And I feel like you can make the best out of negative situations and learn yeah. from it and grow from it and change as a person instead of becoming what happened to you, which is a very common thing that happens with everyone easier said than done. But it just is focused on starting the conversation. Mm -hmm. At least for me, like I said, when I first started social media, I like put all my thoughts and feelings and heart out there and was like, does anyone else struggle with anxiety? Does anyone else struggle with depression? And that was initially why I started using social media because for the first time in my life, I talked about that and other people were like, I deal with that too. And I was like, okay, I'm not crazy. Right. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. no alone. one in my family struggled with panic attacks. No one knew how to deal with my mental health. So when I got on there and was like, hey, like, does this, whatever. And people were like, yes. And I was like, oh my God, that's amazing. I'm not alone. And just knowing even that was enough to help me. So these necklaces, like anyone, it's crazy. Like people that wear the necklaces, like I've seen them at my shows, like walk up to each other That's and so start cool. talking about, oh, my mom's an alcoholic and this is what I deal with. Or I struggle with this addiction. Right. Um, any form of like pain that people go through, just trying to focus on the positive and being able to talk about it and not acting like it doesn't exist because that happens a lot. Yeah. But I'll have to get you guys some necklaces. Yes. Yeah, please. <laughs> and some roses. <laughs> yeah. But both those brands have been so much fun. And at my shows, like people bring the packs and like are just smoking up in my shows. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it's got to be a cool feeling. necklaces and the earrings. Yeah, it's, it's Oh, dope. that's so fun. But everything I do is like super just about, it, it's all like vertically integrated. Like I love business too. Like it's been really cool with social media, YouTube, the two companies and DJing. All super different areas. It and really like is. Um, to be able to do all of those and have them still all work together is mm -hmm. really, really cool. And it's all the same Feeding message each other. like across the board. Yeah. People out here, I love just how creative everything is and being able to like put my visuals for my brand or the logos and everything into my visuals for my set and have beauty and pain. Like I get to record voiceovers for like my intros for my set. So it's like this dramatic, like uh -huh. whatever. And I just love um, being able to make people feel stuff. I feel like that's the whole point. That's important. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's fucking so much fun. That is really cool. Do you guys have, have you started? I feel like every person I know has a brand at this point. You guys have a brand. Yes, we have. Yes. A, Thank you for asking. A coffee. <laughs> Thank you for asking. Yeah. We have a coffee company named Cromoda. Yeah. Are you a big coffee drinker? K cups. I right love here. coffee. Oh, I'll have to try we'll get you a bunch. We got Sorry, a bunch. Sorry, Grandma. Of <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we started Is it it like, like two uh, years black ago. Black coffee, like different flavors. Like what's just beans? Yeah. Cups. So we have we have ground coffee, and then we also have K cups. Uh, so there's different flavors. We've got like a Tahitian vanilla, cinnamon French oh. toast. So we got a house blend. Night. We'll we'll get you some coffee after this. Yes, yeah, please. We'll get you a box. That would be great.